morning, the most news in the morning, period. Weekday 6 Eastern. It is absolutely fascinating because when you think of genes, typically you think of them controlling things like your height, your eye color, uh, maybe even your, your likelihood of developing heart disease or diabetes. But to the extent that genes might actually predict your psychological behavior is a fertile and fascinating area of research. The way that they did this was they actually followed 20,000 young men between uh, grades 7 through 12 for some time. They did interviews with them, they took their blood, they tried to figure out was there something that would emerge as a predictor of violent behavior. And in fact, there was. Uh, there were three genes, as you mentioned, call them violence genes, call them bad behavior genes. But what they found was that if people had these genes, they're much more likely to be violent. There were certain triggers as well, uh, stress, family problems, low popularity, failing in school. To take it a step further, Karen, they, they sort of predict that about 1% of the population has these genes. 1% of the population has these violence or bad behavior genes, which is fascinating. People who have them are more likely to be violent, they're more likely to be delinquent, more likely to have all these various bad behaviors. Now, just identifying the genes, as you might imagine, is just part of the issue here. The real goal, according to the doctors that we spoke with about this, is to eventually develop treatments to counteract those genes and get rid of violence. Uh, really interesting stuff. And they also found that there are just things that they can do and things that their families or people around them can do in everyday life to maybe prevent them from acting out as well. Talk about that. Yeah, so when you talk about genes, you talk about the gene itself, which is sort of your potential to develop something, and then the gene expression, which is the fact that you actually do develop something. Uh, they, they found with one of the genes in particular, if, if a young man was to have regular family meals, to have family meals every single day, they almost took the risk of expressing that gene to zero. So there was a, an example of an environmental counteraction. So it is possible to dilute these genes just through some simple behaviors.